Hello everybody and welcome once again to Running Red, the hardcore questing mod from Gideon Seymour. This should be episode 13 and I've got a lot to do, or at least I want to do a lot. But the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to make a, which one is it, a master orb I think it is, the one that requires a block of gold. So here's a block of gold, we need 25,000 LP. So what I'm going to do here is take one silkworm and cook it. And the reason I'm going to do that, I'll put the others in here, is it has a lot of, um, two should be fine, take two notch shuffles. It gets taken straight out. Oh, I didn't show you this either. I put a hopper on top of the, um, the nether furnace and a hopper below it and a chest beside it, so it automatically gets fed in here. So I've got a cooked silkworm. And when I have press shift on it you can see that it gives you one food bar and a lot of saturation that's the un yellows underneath which is actually pretty good so what we'll do at the moment I don't need to eat anything I've got plenty of health what I do want to do is I want to make this orb let's have a look before I do it let's just do a recipe for that and what do we see hopefully we should see it I don't know. Strange. So let's go and have a look at the other way around and say orb. So the one we want to do now is the Magician's Blood Orb. And this is one block in a tier 3 altar with 25,000 LP. And the altar can only hold 10,000. So that's why I've got a few mobs ready to over here. I'm going to fill up the altar with them, first of all. Right, I'm going to take out of, oops, wrong one. Take out of here, oh, I've got a bit, few bits and pieces in there, aren't there? Put in the gold block, and let's have a look what I want to do here. Let's do it this way around, move that out of the way. Sort those. And take out the ore here and I've got to start cutting myself fairly quickly because this is going to go very fast that's before I do that let's just do this because this is going to be the best order for things and that spider's getting in the way never mind ready steady go now number two and, they, and the fridges keep an eye on this See, it's going down very fast. Let's eat. Kill us. Oops. What am I doing? Right. One zombie. Keep an eye on the altar. It actually goes down really fast. Now I should be able to eat a notch apple. Which is great, because then I can start bleeding myself very fast. Keeping the altar full. Change this. Get a few mobs in the way. And keep bleeding again. And when those bubbles stopped, then we're okay and we've done the 25,000. That was an enderman, that's good. Still an orb here. Oops, I keep it in the vacuum up. Uh, doesn't help. Oops. Ah. I was just did that wrong. Never mind. And that means I've got a grave over there. I'll go and get my stuff quickly. I wasn't paying enough attention. Um, where's that grave gone to? Here we are. If I'm lucky, I might be able to do this. Right, there we go. Let's get eat this next up, up, apple. Let's start cu cutting ourselves again. I 
to do this as fast as I can to make sure I've got as much as possible in the in the altar. before the um, regen runs out. How are we doing? Oh, we've done it, fantastic. Well, it cost me one life, but I've got this Master Blood Orb. And that, I think, is the last time I need to do that. But, let's have a look. Let's put on, back on my protection here, and the helmet. And get rid of all the rest of the stuff. What have we got here? Oh, we got an ender pearl from the ender man. I saw that went just got in the way. Steel boots, gunpowder, arrows. Right. Now the reason I wanted this master blood orb is because we need to make things, and the things we need to make in fact I haven't taken it out yet so I need to take this out and make it part of my network and the reason I need to do that one click because then I can put him back in again and he will then start to use assuming that an orb is male of course and he will start to use all the blood in there I think he should be oh yes look and I've still got to put this regen so now I also can eat the silkworm. I haven't lost it. Where's that silkworm gone to? Or did I already eat it? Oh, let's just cook another one up. In case it didn't... Because everything went rather quickly and I didn't spot what was going on. Let's take one silkworm out of here. Put it in the furnace. Cook it up. Come back to the chest. Oh, look, there we are. Now I can eat this. And you'll see now I've got all my, uh, on the right hand side, all these food bars are, are very full. So what I can also do is eat some melons. And that will give me my life back fairly quickly. And of course this is now empty. And the reason this is empty is because it's all that blood that was in there has now gone into um, the network. And we can right click and see that we've got 34 Five, almost 35,000 LP in the network. Anyway, let's get that's done. And what the reason wanted that was for the runes. If I have a look at the runes, one of the oops, was rune. Within. The one, the one I want to make is this one, the rune of augmented capacity. And what that does is it increases the capacity of the um, altar. So instead of having 25, I can actually bring it up to about 40,000. And I need an imbued state, a magician's blood board, some stone and three buckets. That's fairly straightforward. Now we can do all of that. If I haven't left it in there, which I have done, of course. Because I've got an imbued slate. I've got three stone here. I'll have to get some more. Three buckets. So I need some more stone and... Plenty of stone here, and some more stone, and this orb. So let's just move the food out of the way for the time being. Look at that! Put a bone in there. <laughs> one more stone, and one magician's blood orb will give me an augmented capacity. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to build a few, I'll make a few of these, they're fairly straightforward, it's just those slates I need to do, um, is to make, what did I want to make? I need to make some armour. At the moment what I've got, if I look at myself again, is I've got this jetpack. And with this jetpack what we can do, if I look at the, uh, the use button on this, is I can put armor to it and it doesn't tell you actually it does tell you here if you shift it so you can use invar armor plating okay so we shall make some invar armor plating so how do we do that this one so we need 10 ingots in an induction smelter 
and that should give me armor plating with tinker's alloy so first thing we need is an induction smelter so let's go and make one of those I'll move the orb out of the way induction smelter is another thermal expansion machine and it needs two copper ingots which you've got two invar ingots which I've got now the invar has been coming from our machine frame which I'm sure I've got a few of I should have ten where did I put those that's strange I can't see it we'll see them I may have put them somewhere else let's have a look they're not in there, they're not in there. They're not in there. And they're not in there. My goodness, where did I put this thing? Though I hope I'm, no, I can't have lost them. I just can't remember where I put them. And I haven't got any more chests around, so Oh look, here they are. Uh -huh. This I also didn't show you. This is actually a machinist work bench. So, right, let's carry on with this. What did I want to do? I needed a bucket. I think it was a bucket and a redstone reception coil, I think was the other thing I needed. And that gives me an induction smelter, great. So we can put this induction smelter down anywhere we like here will do I think also I, I did these I created some cyclic assemblers and programmed up this one here is for redstone so with buckets of blood and and the blood can come in from the top and this one here is I showed you this before was for water and this one we need to now put in um, connected up to power supply so where is that gone to I'll leave the energy conduits over there. Oh goodness. Ah, mature good. That take these take a very long time and the seeds there. So I might as well just plant another one. Energy conduit is here, good. I only need one piece. And put that down here and it connects up and we should see now and here power coming in super so that's that part done so the next part is the armor plating wasn't it Is this is the one we need to make so we need to make tinkers alloy armor plating first which is with bronze and iron armor plating bronze is probably made in the induction smelter with tin and copper hopefully three copper dust and one tin dust makes four tinkers alloy that's just what we need I think that's the best recipe we can do. Tin and copper ingots as well, of course. That's that's great as well. So all we need now is we've got plenty. So let's make a, about four of those and uh, sixteen. I probably want fifteen. That'll give me five, won't it? So another one of those. I'll put that back. Oops. Is that right? Three to one. I think it is the recipe. So we can simply put copper and tin in there and we should get some out of here, Tinker's Alloy. And we need eight, I think, for this recipe. Oh, but also, first of all, we need is some iron plating. So we need to go from, oops, where's he gone to back here? So that's iron armor plating, which is five, if I got this right, five iron and four tin ingots. Well, I've got no shortage of either of those. That's it. Where is the iron gone to? 
Uh, I've got blocks and blocks of irons. It's in here actually. So I knew we could do that. So irons here. Right. So now we have to take those and put those in the induction smelter. I think we do it like this. Yes. So we can remove those two. So the next one was Invar. And Invar I've got over here as well. If I can see it, where has it gone to? Here we are. Take the stack out of so there, almost the stack. Put the Invar and the in. And the whole purpose of doing this because I want to go to the nether but I find flying with the um, the jetpack e much easier than flying with the uh, the air sickle the air sickle is a bit difficult to use so let's have a look what I'm going to do now is um, how do I put this in you're supposed to be able to shift and click it so here's a jetpack and if I sneak with this, it says sneaking. I'm not sure if it's, I have to have that on me. But this is the full one, so we'll swap the full, this one here for that. Now what happens here? Do I have to have it down here and sneak it? I don't know how this works. Ah, oh, yes, just simply shift and click. And now I have some armoured redstone. Let's have a look. So now my armour's level is quite reasonably high. And I can fly. Before it was well down here. In fact, what I can also do, if I wanted to, I could take these off and put those on, which then gives me another half a, a life. Those are some steel boots that I got from one of the uh, one of the mobs that I got that got killed. So, so we have a reasonably good jetpack now, and with armored jetpack and lots of stuff. Here's a steel chest plate with unbreaking uh, protection 3 and unbreaking 3 that's a pretty good chest plate and that was from one of the mobs and I eventually got enough steel bits to actually make a full chest plate like these two boots here, I can take those two boots here oh, you've seen this before, I'm sure put them together and you get a complete set of steel boots so plenty of boots now and I did the same that but when it's enchanted you've got to do it on the anvil so it uses XP. So I've got a lot of stuff on me at the moment. And one more thing I want to do quickly is to take one of my glass grass blocks, which I don't see in there. I've still got that already prepared somewhere. There we go. Oops, missed. And what I'm going to do here is I've been extending this bit at the back here out and now it's getting to a reasonable amount of garden and the seeds and things are planting themselves so I can just put this one glass grass block down and put another one down here for example take these other dirt blocks and just plant these and the idea is I want a 15 by 15 platform or at least a 15 by 15 platform because even though I'm not planning to do witchery, it is that one of the things if you do it, decide to do it, you can make a witcher circle and you need about 11 by, I think it's 13 by 13, no, that was fast. My jetpack turned and send it off again. Yes. And I need to press F7 because I haven't got it pressed. And I'll tell you one thing, those mobs spawn even the smallest little areas if you haven't got it lit up, especially out here. I'll put down the second one. See, these already started to multiply, as it were. Wow. I've been getting dirt doing it the hard way. Right, that's it for now. That's this 
areas I've used all my dirt up. I planted some crops down here already. These seeds are actually sort of growing up. The repulsion plants are growing. This one I can't do that way. This is the uh, signal of um, a flying fly. I've got to simply click it and you catch the flowers as they, cause they fly away, strangely enough. These ones on the other hand, you can actually multiply, I think. I got two from that rain seed then. But planting them is a bit of a... It's just a bit awkward sometimes. You just type Q and they land somewhere funny and you, they won't plant. Oh, let's see, like that one. Get out of the way and it may plant. There we go. And that's how those... And they actually sometimes reproduce by themselves like this. These repulsion plants have just all spawned themselves. Right, such a lot of things to do. And let's go and kill a few mobs before I go to the nether. And I think I'm going to plan to go to the nether today. Are these swords? This is the Sharpness 3 and Looting 3, which is a fantastic sword for... Sharpness will kill things. It's and Looting Max. So if I want to go and get some, for example, some blaze rods, it's probably the best weapon to use for killing. In fact, let me put this away. I don't want that with me. I don't need some of this stuff. I'm just going to quickly tidy it up. What do I want? Actually, I do want my arrows. So I'll take a stack of arrows out of here. And I will also take a bow. Now, I've got a decent bow from those mobs. That's not a decent bow, but maybe we can make a decent bow out of those. So let's just combine these two together. Probably not enough by the looks of it on these. They're looking a bit weak. Yes, yeah, sort of still a bit weak. And you can see if you put these two together how far it would go, but this disenchants the bow, so you don't want to do that. This is unbreaking and power one. And uh, what have I got in here? I've got another one. I saw a full a full bow which I could then put onto that one. But I've got a better bow somewhere about. So I think I've got an unbreaking and a a power two. What have I got here? Power two. Right, I can take that power two now. Unbreaking one and power one. It will give me uh, an unbreaking one power two when I put it on the anvil. And just to make sure I've got enough XP, let's put what I've got from killing the mobs into there. And onto the auto anvil, we can put those two bows. So now I've got a complete unbreaking one power two bow. So what I believe you can do, if you switch between these two, when you shoot something with the arrow, and you can move to your sharp your looting sword. You get the looting effect if it, you do it before it hits the target. That's about. That's going to be tricky, but we'll see. I don't need those. Let's get rid of these things over here. I don't want this one either, but for the time being. But I'm going to make sure everything that's valuable is put away, which of course takes a few seconds. Let's sort this chest. One thing I have been doing is making blocks of iron. I do not want these, but I will put the magician's blood orb in the altar. Stone I don't want here. I built a tape measure because I could measure things quite easily. But I'll put it over here. What I'm going to do is take the safari net. And I've got to put this away too. What else have I got in here that I probably don't really want to take with me? That one, that one. Arrows we want, we probably don't need a crafting table. Pickaxe, maybe. She has definitely not. Bucket we won't need, I don't think. Food we're going to need plenty of, so let's just take this. Torches, unlikely to need those. Divignation signal, don't think we need it. A signal of the green grave we certainly do not need. How's that? And the magician's blood orb I wanted to put over here. Not too 
gun powders in here, which is not so useful for us, but let's get in like this. Take that out of there and put those into the vacuum hopper. So, I think I am prepared. So let's go and see if we can catch ourselves a... What do I want to catch? A blaze, because I need a blaze to make a magna cream. I need a magna cream to make one of the rituality stones. See, what I don't said, where do these things spawning from? There shouldn't be too many of them. He's in my way. Right, he's not in my way. I can't figure out where they spawned. Never mind. They're in them down here, which is which is good. So now we've got the long walk. I will get prepared with the bow. The other machine I want to make fairly early on is the uh, way to charge up the jetpack. Which is, that's a, I think that's an energy infuser that we need from thermal expansion. I also need to make a redstone furnace because the red, the nether furnace is extremely slow. And of course I also want to extend the size of the um, mob spawner it doesn't actually keep up anymore with the, the demands of the network oh, yes it's that nice little problem with not registering my health once you've died right here we go let's simply just be able to just go down here and through here Now what's like, there's a lot of mobs, so I actually put my jetpack on before I start. Oh, look at this. Oops. I started this one. I think what happened there, somebody just killed somebody else, hello. You can see the effect of the looting here, I probably got... Where's that one? Oh, that. oh such fun. Move out of the way, get my bow back into action. Oops, I've been hit again. I've had to watch out. Oh, look, I've got my health back now. Have I got C? I haven't got C on either, have I? Tell you what I didn't bring. They're not aggregating me, are they? Did I get anything? Oh yes, there's the blaze rod. Now let's just fly around. There we got some more. Better watch my health and get out of here a bit, huh? Here's the way back. Actually, I want to capture one of these guys. See if I can do that. Yeah, got him. So now I have a relatively unlimited supply of... And I've got plenty of jeep. That's good. I can eat while I'm walking back. Should actually check what if I got anything exciting. No, I didn't. It's too exciting being in the nether, I can't stand it. <laughs> but I got a blaze rod and I got a, a safari net reusable with a blaze trapped in it. 
which means I shall create a mob grinder from I think it's mine factory loaded and a mob spawner from mine factory loaded too. Yeah, I'm coming back again now. It's like glitch there, isn't there? It's, it's, the orange bits are disappearing. <laughs> 